What's up everyone? Alrighty, so I have the infamous uh, ABS engagement at like two to three miles per hour when I'm coming down to a stop. And uh, there's a TSB on this. So I just wanna go over it. It's pretty simple. Um, you gotta pull the ABS sensor and clean where it sits. Uh, and in order to do that, you have to take off the caliper, the bracket, and the uh, rotor. And uh, I just left the whole assembly together. I took off the two 21 millimeter, 21 millimeter bolts on the bracket here. Um, these were all rusted. If your truck is rusty and trusty like mine, you'll probably have this issue. <laughs> uh, so I actually had to pound a, uh, a socket onto the end of this, and then I got them out um, with an impact gun, and then I got the new bolts at Napa. These bolts here, uh, they were like 750 a piece. Um, here's the part number 8405 on them. So if you need those, this is a 2001 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. Pretty similar for a lot of the other Chevy Silverados and, and other models. I think it's 9906. Um, so anyway, yeah, you got to take that off. Um, take the rotor off. My rotor was kind of seized on there and what's nice about these and a lot of the rotors usually they'll have like two bolts you could put into. Um, you could see the marks there. Sorry, I got my iPhone. Um, and I just, I think these are like quarter 20s. I just put them on the rotor there and put them on the rotor there and just go real slow and pound it a little bit. Um, you don't want to break those off in the rotor, especially if you're reusing the rotor. Um, so yeah, anyway, once you get that off, uh, you have to get the ABS sensor off. It is a, it's a Allen key. And of course this one was rusted too. So I actually had to pound a socket. <laughs> I had to pound that in there. Um, and yeah, there is the mounting surface. So all that needs to be cleaned. You need to wire brush that. If you got an air tool, you can brush that off. Um, and then you could just spray a little bit of paint over it and then just wait for it to dry. Again, plug that hole right there so none of the crap gets in there. And then, um, yeah, paint it, let it dry for about five, 10 minutes, and then go ahead and put everything back together, torque everything down to spec. And that should get rid of the ABS engagement at lower speeds. Um, if you still have the issue, or you get an ABS sensor uh, or the ABS uh, light that comes on, there's, there's probably something else going on. You might have to replace the hub or you might have to replace the sensor if you damaged something while you were cleaning it. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and uh, comment below, all right?